Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to update your keyboard drivers on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. No matter what brand of keyboard you have, the methods in this video should work. It will also work if your keyboard is Bluetooth, wireless, and it might work for those part of a laptop. There are a few ways to check for driver software, and in a lot of the cases, your drivers might be already up to date. Most devices won't need drivers to be downloaded to work, but it's worth checking to see if there are any driver updates available. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the methods. We'll start by using the automatic Windows tool to try and update our drivers. To do this, first head to the device manager. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. When the device manager opens, look for the section called keyboards and double click on it to expand it. In here, look for the keyboard you want to update the drivers for. If you don't see it on the list, make sure it is connected and working on your PC. If it is connected but it isn't being recognised, then click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you how to fix potential problems with a keyboard on a Windows 10 PC. If you do see it, double click on its name to bring up the properties window. Now go to the driver tab, which should be the second option. In here, find where it says update driver and click on that. Now choose the automatic option, which should be the top option of the two available. If there are any drivers that Windows finds, it should install them automatically. However, it might say that the best drivers are up to date. If you want, you can click on search for updated drivers on a Windows update. If you need help installing a Windows update, click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine focusing on that. Remember this method to update drivers in case you can get the driver file later. In that case, you can use the manual method instead of the automatic method we have just done to navigate to where the file is stored. You shouldn't have to worry about this though. Once you have installed the driver, you may need to restart your PC. If your keyboard doesn't work after restarting, first try rolling back the driver update. To do this, go back to the device manager and find your keyboard on the list and then double click on it. Go to the driver tab, choose rollback driver and then follow the steps. If after this it still isn't working, then visit the video I mentioned earlier. That will run through a few possible fixes. We'll now move on to another way to update device drivers. You can do this method even if Windows couldn't find any driver updates. This method is to check on the website of the manufacturer. This will be slightly different depending on the brand your keyboard is. Go to the official website of your keyboard manufacturer, for example Logitech. Have a look on the manufacturer's website for a driver's page. Alternatively, you could search on Google for the keyboard brand and then drivers. Some brands will have a driver's page, but just make sure you are on the official website as I'm not responsible if you download something from a fake source. You should have the website or information about where to get drivers on the box of your keyboard or in the instruction manual. On the driver's site for the brand of keyboard you have, most should display or allow you to search for your model number or series. Search and find yours, and then find where it allows you to download the driver. Download the driver, and once it's finished, open the file. It should be a setup file, and all you need to do is follow the steps to install it. Once again, this method will vary depending on your keyboard manufacturer. If your keyboard stops working after installing the new drivers, you can roll back the drivers by following the method I showed earlier. There is one other way to check for and install driver updates. This is to download and install automatic driver update software. This software will help with updates for all kinds of drivers on your PC automatically. I'll leave a link to a video in the description showing you how to install that software and get the latest drivers. And so that is how to update your keyboard drivers on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows 10 PC. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions then let me know in the comments below and if you did find today's video helpful remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.